Hey guys! Welcome back to Drink, Drink Read, Read Fabio. Fabio! I'm Keith Brimmer. And I'm Sophia Kaiofis, and we're your hosts of this podcast. Yeah! Today we're talking about the summer I turned pretty. Yes. We're gonna give you what we liked and what we disliked in each of the three books. Yes. We actually started reading this because we heard that the Netflix series was coming out. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to kind of talk about just the books with you guys yes. before the series even released on Netflix. Yeah. So then when it does, we can watch it together and then mm -hmm. give us we can give you guys our thoughts on how it met the books and how yeah. if it was similar, different, what we think. Our thoughts. And I've been seeing that a lot of people, even though these books have been out for a while, that they've started reading them. Mm -hmm. um, once it was announced. And once it was announced that the show was going to come out because everyone wants to see how it compares to the books. So we're going to get into it. So a little bit about these books. It is a bit, um, revolves around this girl. She starts off at 15, turning, uh, 16? 15 yeah. turning 16 during the summer. Named Belly, which, yes, her name's Belly, which mm -hmm. is weird. It's her nickname. It's her nickname. Her name's Isabel. They call her Belly. Mm -hmm. And her and her mother go to this beach house every single year for the summer with her mom's best friend and her two boys, Conrad and Jeremiah. And Belly's brother. And Belly's brother, yes. And how Belly's the only girl, so she gets left out a lot. Mm -hmm. And She's the youngest. She's the youngest, and she's always been in love with the older brother, Conrad, mm -hmm. since or she can remember, she has this huge crush on him and he always kind of just blows her off. Yes. So that kind of gives you the gist of it. Yeah. And in the first book we get a lot of that because yes. it's the quote unquote summer she turned pretty. So it's Definitely. the first summer she comes back and she looks like a grown up. A grown up. A woman. She's becoming a woman. And not just a kid. Yeah, they don't and see her as a kid anymore. The boys kind of notice her as someone they could potentially see as a romantic partner mm -hmm. and how those relationships unfold. Yeah, and there's a lot of flashbacks in the first book mm -hmm. um, back to, it'll say like they're different ages and so you see moments from when they were younger at the, at the beach house and yeah. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. If you haven't read the books, Moving forward, we're going to be spilling a lot of spoilers. Yeah. So stop now, go read the books and come back or watch another, listen to another episode because we're going to be talking about our least favorite moments and our favorite moments and we don't want to spoil it for you guys. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So in the first book, do you want to start with what we liked? Yeah, favorite. Um, I'll go first. Okay. So my favorite moment in the first book was the truth or dare flashback. Oh which yeah. Which I thought was so cute and of because um, Jeremiah the younger brother mm -hmm. uh, ends up giving her her first kiss yes. in this truth or dare. And I love how he is just like, fine, I'm going to do it. And then just does it really quick. And she has, Belly has no chance to kind of even think about it or process it. Yeah. And it happens and it's over. And for me, it kind of shows that Jeremiah always had a little soft spot for her mm -hmm. and always truly did care about her. And think that she was cute even before she thought she was cute. Yeah. It also worked my heart that like he was her first kiss because I love, love, loved Jeremiah in the first book. Yeah. He was so sweet and so cute and so thoughtful. And it also brought me back to high school. Yeah. And like how we would pray play truth or dare all the time with our friend. Like yeah. with your friends late at it's night. It's just so really and if it was like a girl boy sleepover or something or hang mm -hmm. out can relate to it. It's a moment she'll never forget. Exactly. Okay. What was your favorite? My favorite is more general, but I just really loved all the flashbacks. Um, yeah. In this book, they really um, go back and forth. The rest of them, they don't do as many flashbacks. So I just really liked it because I feel like their situation, having this summer house and going there all summer is like every kid's dream. Mm -hmm. Like being with like your bestest friends and just like living on the beach and being able to swim and go on the beach every day and just like be in this little cute beach town and have fun. And <laughs> the 
towns of New York. Yeah. It shows their personalities as they grew up and who mm. they were as younger kids and now as they're becoming young adults. And it's just so relatable. Yeah, it is. It really is. She's really good at writing um, what it feels like to be a young person like starting to grow up. I so, agree. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. So my number one dislike is Belly and Conrad's first kiss. Yeah. Which was terrible. It was terrible. It happened so suddenly, mm -hmm. out of nowhere, there was no lead up, no. no budding relationship that everyone loves in a romance, like literally nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. He was annoying and stupid the whole book, literally the whole book he was so annoying and was just kind of pouty and wasn't even there most of the time. He was working or out with his friends. There were never moments where both of them were alone unless they were yelling at each other because he was trying to get her to do something she didn't want to do or yeah. telling her she couldn't do something. They had no they had no moment of being friends even or no. having a relationship in any sort of way and all of a sudden he just grabs her and kisses her. He was just like, you're right. And she's like, what? What? I know. And in a romance book, that's the one thing you really want. Yeah. You love the lead up to the kiss way more than the kiss. At least I do. Yeah. And you're like rooting for Belly and you mm -hmm. want her to get what she wants and she wants Conrad. So you, even though you don't really, I mean, I don't really like Conrad. No. But I still wanted the kiss to be magical for her mm -hmm. because she has wanted this her whole life and then he just kind of like does it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't really mean anything. No, nothing. So stupid. I wish there was at least a little bit, even if it was more friendly based, uh -huh. a little bit of a spark there or some yeah. relationship where even they, she sneaks out or they do some weird thing together every summer that they end up doing. Yeah, just something, something. to lead up to it instead of it just being like, boop, games. The end. The end. Stupid. Okay. What's yours? My least favorite moment is when Belly tells Conrad she's in love with him. Oh. And he's like, no, Similarly. you shouldn't love me. And she's like, admit it, I know you like me. And he's being a total jerk and he's like, he literally says to her like, get your head out of your ass, Belly, not everything's about you. Yeah. Even though he does like her. So, why doesn't he just why say, is he being you know a jerk? What? You're right. It's just annoying and also made me cringe because Belly is like being kind of desperate. But she's 15, so I get mm -hmm. it. And then it leads to Jeremiah defending Belly, and then Conrad and Jeremiah get in a fist fight. And then they tell Belly that Susanna's cancer is back. And uh, it's just like Domino. Domino into the worst yeah. thing. Terrible. Hated that. Yeah, that was terrible. It just didn't make any sense. It was just like. Why? You've been such a jerk. So, like, why should we root for you? I don't get it. There's no point. And Jeremiah's being so nice, and you're like, girl, why can't you just fall in love with him? I you know. Yeah. And then when Jeremiah admits that he likes her, and she blows him off, she's like, sorry, I just really love Conrad. And, and he's stop like, liking Lord. him. He's yeah. stupid. He doesn't do anything for you. Nothing. He All he does is... Be, be sad mean. and a jerk. Yeah. Stupid. All right, let's move on to book two. Yeah, book two. It's not summer without you. It's not, not summer without you. It's not summer without, it's not you. Summer without you. So basically what happens in this book is sadly, Conrad and Jeremiah's mom passes away from cancer. Uh, another cancer <laughs> thing. So much cancer. Anyway, so they end up not going back to the summer house because She's not there to host them anymore. And obviously everybody's deeply mourning. Yeah. It's really bad. And we get, we're getting flashbacks again this time of the year where it's after Conrad and Belly's kiss. So they have a sort of kind of relationship. Yes. It's weird. It's more like a thing. Yeah. We're going to go by high school terms. But they talk every night on the phone. Yeah. And they see see each other a couple times and it's really good and they make out, but yada yada. Um, and he ends up taking her to prom, Yeah. but then he breaks up with her. It just goes terribly. It goes terribly and um, Jeremiah end up, ends up driving to Belly's house and begging her to come help him find Conrad. 
because Conrad left college. Yeah. And they can't find him, and they think that he is at the summer house. Mm -hmm. So they end up going to the summer house, and they find out that Conrad's dad, Conrad and Jeremiah's dad, is planning on selling the summer home. The summer home, and that's why Conrad's there to try to keep it. Yeah, and basically convince his dad not to sell it. Mm -hmm. So then they get the mom involved, and the mom eventually is like, "Okay, I'll help you Bell's guys." Mom. Belly's mom. I'll help you guys convince the and dad not to sell it. And the dad, with a lot of, um, he fights back a lot, but eventually he gives in and says, okay, Conrad, you need to get really good grades on your exams. And then you can keep it. Then you keep the house. And uh, of course they do, so. Yeah. So do you wanna start now? Yeah. So my favorite moment to go on with that last thing I just said um, was when they stay up and help Conrad study all night and then drive him to school and like get him all ready for his finals. I just thought, I don't know, there's like, there's not a lot of moments where Jeremiah and Belly and Conrad all get along. It's like very few. So yeah. it's really nice when they all can bond, especially over something that's like, yeah, they're family. Yeah. So like, let's forget about all of our like romance problems and like mm -hmm. help each other out. So it's just mm -hmm. like fun. Cause she goes and gets McDonald's, and then they help him study all night. And Belly's like, chop chop, come on, boys, we gotta do this. It's really cute. It's just really cute. It's like they turn into a team. Yeah, I liked it. Really cute. My favorite moment was when Belly's mom Laurel came to save the day and save yes. the house. It was so sweet and nice because Laurel has been in this really deep depression yeah. and barely comes out of her office and has basically dedicated herself to working out um, the will yeah. for her, uh, Su Susanna. So it's really, really sad. And what happens is that Belly gets fucked up and at their last party of the semester and call drunk calls her mom, begging her to come mm -hmm. and help. Her mom comes and is super understanding and decides to help them convince the dad to keep the beach house even though she slaps her, which was not Oh, cool. that part was only almost one of my least favorites. Least favorites. Yeah, that was not cool, uh, but she wins it over by helping them Yeah, with it. Um, and I really liked it because it was the first time the kids admitted that they needed an adult. Yeah. That they needed backup and they needed help and they couldn't just do it all on their own. Yeah. And Conrad, it's the first time Conrad goes to Belly and thanks her for something. Yeah. And he's like, you know, thank you so much for that. And also the mom finally shows emotion because she's kind of like stoic. Yes. My least favorite moment um, is the reason why we have the second book is because they literally kill off the best character, Susanna. She's literally the only one that doesn't suck. Like, yeah. To be completely honest. Belly can be kind of a brat. I mean, she's 15, so I get it. Conrad is a jerk. Jeremiah, he was great. But then the last book comes, but we'll get to that. We'll get there. We'll get into that. The mom, like, she doesn't really, I don't know. She's, she's weird. She's on and off. She's kind of She's like, has masculine tense. energy. She has she's masculine not energy. very Loving. warm and fuzzy. The brother, who is the brother? I don't even know really what his personality was. I feel bad for Steven. Steven doesn't really do much. Especially and he also isn't book. very nice to Belly. No. I wished I wished for more for Steven. And the dads suck. The dads Both suck. of them suck. So the only good one was Susanna. She was the best. She was fun. She was warm. She was fuzzy. She um, was great. And then yeah. she does. So they do. They do do that. That just made me mad. I mean, I kind of saw it coming, but like... They needed her to be the best and to pass away, so that mm -hmm. it affected them all so terribly. But yeah. it still sucked for everyone. Yeah, of course. I understand why she did it, but... Yeah. She was the best character, so... Mm -hmm. They did make her do this best character. Yep. My least favorite part was Belly's senior prom night flashback. Oh, that's horrible oh, too. Oh my gosh! Conrad, stupid idiot. I know he ruins her prom. He ruins night. her prom, her senior prom. Because night. he couldn't just hold back for one night and you not get one prom, especially because she didn't get to go to her junior prom. She yeah. didn't go, 
And he did absolutely everything wrong and made her have the worst night ever. He forgot her corsage. He didn't even really care about how pretty she looked. He dropped, he was late? Yeah. To pick her up? And he's in a bad mood? And then broke up with her. And wouldn't dance with her? On her prom night. Evil. Evil. He did everything. He could have waited he and pretended. Waited. Anything. Anything. And then lied to his dying mother about it. Mm-hmm. And told her it was great. And that he gave her the most beautiful corsage and danced with her. And, and had the, the best prom night. Yeah. Who breaks up with somebody on their prom night? The DM us if you've been broken up on your prom night. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to know if anybody has. That'd be terrible. Oh, I was so mad. All right, so book three is my least favorite of oh. all the books. Here we go, because I have stuff to say about book three. Here we go. So basically at the end of book two, randomly again, another random kiss, Jeremiah ends up kissing Belly. Yeah. And Conrad watches, and then Conrad yells at Belly, asking her if she really does like him, and Belly says, Yes, I do. And so Conrad basically says, Fine, you can date him, whatever. I'll give up. Even yeah. though you broke up with her in the first place. Yeah, also, you're a jerk. You're a jerk? So you Hello. can't have your cake and eat it too. Sir. Anyway, so we get in the, the third book. Belly and Jeremiah are at the same college. Jeremiah all of a sudden is like this weird frat bro. And he ends up cheating on her. Cheating. Cheating. And weird. It's like gray area cheating. Yeah. But she still is really upset about it. And how does he try to make things better? He proposes. Yeah. You heard it. Proposes. They're 18 and 19. Mm-hmm. Let's continue with the synopsis. Yes. Anyway. So they start planning the wedding, their whole family is weirded out that they're getting married, the, uh, Belly's mom doesn't approve and says she won't go to the wedding, yada yada, so Belly moves out of her house and mm -hmm. into the beach house, yeah. where Conrad uh -huh, is also staying, sure. why, I don't know, he's there, Yeah. and they don't really talk, they kind of are in and out, Jeremiah is interning at his dad's place, so he can't really be there until the weekend. Yeah. And I basically put planning the wedding on the belly's shoulders. Mm -hmm. And so Conrad is always there to help. He, he steps up now. He steps up now. To help with the wedding. To help with the wedding. And uh, Conrad, like, all of a sudden is this cool guy who helps with everything and is always there for her and <laughs> makes it supportive. And supportive. And makes sure that her mom ends up wanting to go to the wedding. And just all of a sudden flips the switch and is this great guy and your yeah. guy all of a sudden is this stupid shitty guy who won't be there for her and isn't there to help plan the wedding and is wanting all these stupid requests for the wedding yeah stupid and then eventually they uh. call off the wedding Conrad yeah. admits that he's in love with her and has always been in love with her yeah Jeremiah runs off it, whatever they get into another first fight and uh, Jeremiah comes back and he's like, I can either have all of you or none of you. And Billy's like, well, my heart's always going to be a little bit with Conrad, but I choose you. And he's like, that's not good enough for me. And then they call off the wedding and it's over. And he yeah. just, they just break up. And then it ends with her getting married to Conrad years later. Okay. We'll, we'll share more about thoughts. Yeah. That's what we liked. Yeah. Um, so I couldn't really find anything. I, I struggled really hard about to, this book. I struggled really hard to find one. The vibes, like I still, because we had had this journey with the characters, I still cared and I wanted to read the book. But there wasn't like a moment where I was like, yes, because. Everyone sucks in this book, and um, yeah, I honestly just made me mad the whole time. So I didn't pick one because I couldn't find you didn't one. Pick one. No, I couldn't find one. I picked one part that I liked, one single part, and that was when Conrad went to Belly's mom to help convince her to go to the wedding without telling Belly he was going to do this or do a party. Yeah, no, even the wedding. Oh. 
Because her mom was like, I'm not going to nothing. Yeah. I will not be there. And Conrad and her mom all of a sudden have this weird relationship that they don't really talk about that much. Yeah, they have this like bond because she uh-huh. understands him because they're both like, weird. don't talk about their feelings. That's weird. Dumb. He goes to have lunch with her and convinces her to go to the wedding, which I think was really sweet because he did it. He yeah. didn't do it for brownie nice. points. He didn't do it for anything. He wasn't even going to tell them that he did it. Yeah. He was true. just doing it out of the kindness of his heart. And he admits that he messed up his chances and is willing to put them before himself and do everything that he could to make Belly happy and give her what she wants because he does care about her and loves her. Yeah. That was the only part I liked. Yeah, that was a, that was a good moment. Anyway. Okay. Now let's get moment. into what we really thought. I have a full paragraph. Good. Um, I wrote in parentheses, honestly, this whole book. <laughs> But I hated the personality flip from the two boys. Jeremiah becomes this gross jerk frat boy who doesn't care. And in the other books, I love Jeremiah. He was so thoughtful, and so kind, anything, so attentive. He's so caring. Yeah, anything so, but what he was in the last yes. book. Yes. And then he cheats on her? Huh? Like, not even just like kisses a girl. He full on has sex with a girl. When he hasn't even had sex with his own girlfriend. Yet. Literally. And he loses her virgini- his virginity to this random girl. And Belly like has this idea in her head that she's going to lose her virginity to him and that they're going to get married. And now he basically has taken that away from her. Mm-hmm. That it's never going to be like something that they can share together. Like it still will, but you know, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Ugh. And... Like, then Conrad swoops in and is like Prince Charming now, and it's like, dude, sucks. where was this the whole entire freaking time? You ruined her prom. And it's like, now that your brother is in love with her, you feel like, oh, I have to make it up. I mean, because I, it's my girl. It's, oh, he says that a lot in the book, too. Yeah. It's my girl. It's not your freaking girl. <laughs> you made her up. Girl. You were terrible to her. How can you even call her your girl? Ugh. You were mean. Yeah, literally horrible. And now she's almost in yours? Uh, honestly, they both suck in this book. I wanted her to end up with Jeremiah. And then Me this too. book happened, and I said, I don't I want, want her to end, end up, up with anyone. Yep, don't want her to end up with either of them. No. Also, Susanna left notes for all of the kids for when they get married. Um, and so, so the note ends up in Jeremiah's hands, but then Jeremiah's like, this is Frankie yeah, Conrad. And in the note, he, Susanna's letter says to Conrad um, the, uh, that she only saw him in love with Belly. Huh? When? When? Also, if he got married to anyone else, how awkward that would that be if you opened your letter on your wedding day and it said, the only girl I've ever seen you in love with was Belly. Well, Mom, I'm marrying freaking Stephanie now, so <laughs> why'd you bring up her? Like, you know what I mean? Why? No, it's so messed up. Especially because when would she have seen him in love with Belly? Because he was so mean to Belly when she yeah. was alive. <laughs> yeah. He I mean, in the flashback, sometimes he's, like, thoughtful. No. But Jeremiah is, like, a hundred and ten percent. Like, they are always hanging out. He's so thoughtful. He's the one that always invites Belly along when she's being left out. Like, mm-hmm. They even have a flashback where Belly gets sick. And Jeremiah stays behind and doesn't hang out with the other two boys to hang out with her so that she's not alone when she's sick. And she ends up getting him sick. Yeah. And then they hang out together while he's sick. Yeah. Why would the mom, why would Susanna not be like, oh, no, they're in love. Yeah. Jeremiah is in love with her. Stupid. I just, oh my God. Stupid. I did not, this whole book, I didn't understand. No. Why? Why was there even a proposal in the first place? No They're freaking kids. They're children. They're children. That's mine. I said almost everything about it. But <laughs> yes. let's talk about the circumstance. Like their marriage, not only were they young, they were both still teenagers. Yeah. But it was based on cheating. The only reason he proposed was well, to because- prove to her that he only wanted her. No. That's not how you prove your love to somebody. No. If anything, that's the opposite of how you prove your love to somebody. That would freak me out even more. I'd be like, you don't know what you want. 
Exactly. If you can go from one extreme to the other, then you obviously aren't ready to get married. No, it's more of a thing to say, you know, I want to work this out with you. Let's try to work it out. Why couldn't it have just been a promise ring? Yeah, a promise hey, ring. Give her a promise ring. And then it hurts jewelry. even more when Conrad tells her that he's always been in love with her. Because then it's like, dude, that's your brother's girlfriend. You, you are too late, dude. Yes, and can we also talk about that they've been together for two years now. Her and Jeremiah have been together for two years. Yeah. That's a long time to be with somebody. And then it's like, Conrad... Gonna, you could have done it. those two years. Yeah. And also, how can you go up to your brother's fiance and say something like that? Exactly. That's so inconsiderate. Like literally apartments. like a couple days before the wedding. A couple days before the wedding, he admits this. What? How can you know that you love somebody when you have barely talked to them in two years also? Yeah. They don't, they haven't talked. They don't really talk. Talk. school. Conrad doesn't come home for vacations or anything, so she no. hasn't seen him at all. They barely talked in the summer where she turned pretty. In the first book, they barely talked. Literally, the like, summer. do you even like her? You just pick on her all the time. And you fight. It's all you do. And then he ends up, like, she goes somewhere abroad and he writes her all these notes, and then they get married after they graduate from college. Like, huh? Why did she marry him? He's so... Ugh. I just, yeah. But here's, a, here's another thing. If you're gonna date one brother, and you're gonna seriously date them, you can't go to the other brother. No, especially when you're they're can. family. They're, they're not just like random boys. Like, they're literally like cousins, basically. Yeah. So, you can't switch. You can't do that. You can't double dip. And then Jeremiah shows up at the wedding and is like with another girl, and he's like, Thumbs up, Belly. You did good. I'm, <laughs> I'm so, so happy. happy you're marrying my brother. Even though we dated for two years and we were engaged. <laughs> and I was in love with you and all I wanted was you and you broke my heart. But it's okay. But look at me with this blonde chick. Yeah. We're great. We can't wait. We look like Cosmo wedding. and Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> that was so frustrating. Oh, the last book. Honestly, I could have done without the last book. I love a good love triangle. Why did it have to involve marriage though? Yeah. That just made everything worse. Yeah. Like, fine if there's a love triangle. But also, the love triangle <gasps> should not happen after you've been dating for two years. I mean... Uh, with your brother? These your books brother? are not really realistic. So, I, no. be, I, I would be more on board if it wasn't a marriage that was also involved. You know, I still think it's weird. I you just... know that the girl you're marrying has slept in the same bed as your brother. So how did Jeremiah was even? How was Jeremiah even okay with moving forward dating Belly when he knows that Belly's entire life she's only loved Conrad? But at least they never really dated. I'm saying Conrad. How is he okay with? Telling her that he likes her and then marrying her after she's been in a serious relationship. It's just all kinds of messed up. See, like, it's a little bit different when it was like a schoolgirl crush. Mm -hmm. And with Jeremiah, I think it's a little bit of a different story. But when it's him, when she has been dating Jeremiah for two years. Yeah. Seriously. As in, they're talking marriage. And they're, the rest of their lives together. And how do you even get past that mental block? No. Weird. It's so weird, anyway. and this book was not good, but am I excited to watch the show? Yes. yes. So why don't we rate each book on okay. our levels of stars? Okay. Okay, first book. Four. I would give it like a 4.5. I mean, like I, like I rate mine on like more enjoyable level rather than like it's a literary masterpiece because these books aren't that, mm -hmm. but I enjoyed it, so 4.5. I'm trying to do it on enjoyment too. It wasn't a book that I was wanting to read, like dire wanting to read. Mm -hmm. So that's why I gave it a four. It was fun, it was cute, but will I pick it up again? No. Second book. Second book, three out of five. Who's yeah. I? I'd probably say three too. Who's I? Yeah. It was fun. It was fine. Oh, last last book. book. Two. Two. If we're, and I'm being nice with the two. Yeah, me too. I'm thinking more 1.52. I really did not like it. No, I didn't like it either. 
it was really hard. It came out of nowhere. The story did not flow. It was not realistic in the slightest. Everything no. went wrong. It just made me really mad. Yeah. And sad. Yeah. And annoyed. Like, <sighs> it ruined these characters for me, to be honest. Exactly. And I just don't love... A lot of the romance happens outside of the story. Outside of the book. Mm -hmm. You don't get... In all three of these, really. You don't get any of the fun lead up. Yeah, there's no, no fun, romantic moments, we just hear about them. We just hear, yes, we hear about them. We don't really n understand her and Conrad's relationship, we don't get to see that blossom, mm -hmm. we just hear that it happened. Same thing with her and Jeremiah. Yeah. We just hear that all of a sudden they've been dating for two years. Yeah. So the fun part for romance novels was taken away from me. That's exactly. my favorite part. My favorite part is seeing, you know, when they accidentally like hold hands or yeah. like, their knees touch under the table. That's the best part. And even her and Jeremiah's first kiss was kind of bad too, because they're yeah. just like in a car. It was rushed. And yeah, it was rushed because she was hurt by Conrad. So she's like, uh, I guess like kind of like Jeremiah now. I'm just gonna kiss him. Yeah. Stupid. It just like uh, didn't flow well. The romance parts didn't flow well. No, it was more like if you like a fun summer drama with like friendship and kind of romance. I don't really know. I don't know. It's a weird book. Honestly, but what, I don't know if I'd even recommend this series unless you want to watch the Netflix series. I think if you don't really want to think hard and you want something to read for the summer and you need something that's going to be literally so short you can read in like a day or two, then yes, read them. Anyway. Anyway. Those are our fun thought thoughts. Yeah, I'm excited to watch the show and let us know if you guys have read the series, what you think, if you agree with our opinions. Um, and I'd love to hear it. Yes, love we'd to love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow us on TikTok, follow us on Insta, follow us on YouTube. You know, all that jazz. All that jazz. And we'll see you next week on Drink, Drink Read, Fabio. Bye, you guys. Goodbye.